care who you invite to your church to do whatever. They are hindered or they excel by the consecration, the heartbeat and the pulse of the leaders in the background. And mm -hmm. and a person like George Bloomer and a person like Lucinda Moore, we've learned years ago how to go into a place and plug into the anointing that is there. We honor you this morning in the name of Jesus. That's the truth. Uh, I'm not gonna. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna do colorology today. But I, I do know. You, you, I do know that you can't be a studier of the word and not understand what colors mean. Now, now, now some people's colors are jacked up. When, when, turn to your neighbor and say these words say when you dress you address you understand that right when you dress you uh, you, 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 you address you know so you go to the and you, you ain't dressed right people say where in the world is she going <laughs> what was on her mind today you know that kind of thing but in the book of revelations the bible declares unto us that all of the colors of the rainbow lended their shade to emerald, which is green. I think you just missed the whole thing. The glory of the Lord is in this place this morning. And I want you, I want you, if you can, I want you, if you can, just to control your spirit for about three or four minutes and then we're going to all go up together again um with your heads bowed there are 10 persons inside this room 10 uh entrepreneurs business individuals uh who needs a miracle a a makeover in the area of your business i'm not a prophet the things i speak come out of the heart of god there are those of you who are here today. So there's two groups that I'm going to speak to. We're going to open up the heavens and I'm going to go to the word of the Lord and go, go to my seat. This appointment here today blesses me like you would not believe it. Thank you so much for trusting me to come to announce to the people where you going. You stole my prophecy, you know. <laughs> hey, hey. Now I'm slow, but I'm sure. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, I, uh, yeah, there are 10 persons in this room right now, 10 persons, two groups I'm going to talk to. I'm going to talk to 10, and then I'm going to talk to 50. 10 and 50 is what? 60. He blesses 30, 60, and 100-fold. The order of, of, of blessing 30-fold, 60-fold, 100. The 30-fold blessing is a person who's taken a seed, put the seed in the ground and the first yield all comes up is enough for them to shake the plant to get seed. He gives seed to the sower. The second yield, they plant seed and the seed comes up and the, the harvest comes up and they shake the plant, they get seed and fruit grows. He gives seed to the sower and bread to the eater. The third is they plant and they shake the, 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 the tree and no seed falls. It's all fruit all harvest and it continues to grow rapidly without having to plant in that area anymore your planting days are over your harvest days are now and if you come in contact with you come in contact with individuals you come in contact with individuals that move around you that want you to plant you, you need to really really shake the dust off of your feet if, if, if you do not know, listen, if you ain't nobody putting you up nowhere, if it's, if it's, all right, so there's 10 people in this room, 10 entrepreneurs in this room, I want you to bow your heads, the next 30 days of your business is going to turn on this seed of obedience that you're going to release, and whether you do it through, through uh, one of the platforms, a cash app, whatever you do, or you write a check, or you bring it, uh, 
You're not given to be seen, but you need to be seen giving. Your giving will be a defiance to the demonic forces that have come against you. There are 10, and there's always, God always does exceedingly abundantly above, but there's 10 of you, business persons, entrepreneurs, starting your business, in business, business are going to right, business doing whatever. There are 10 of you. You have an uncommon seed this morning of a thousand dollars. An uncommon seed of a thousand dollars. Get up, get to the altar right now. 30 days of financial miracles and blessings is about to hit you in the name of Jesus. Where are you? 10 persons, get to the altar quickly. Get to the altar right now. No tricks, no gimmicks, no games. No tricks, no gimmicks. There goes one. 10 of you, quickly, 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 quickly. I'm not broke. I'm not trying to get your money. I have no tricks, no gimmicks, no games. It is what it is. Where are you? Where are you? I'm waiting on you. 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 What do you do? What do you do? Group, group home. What do you do? That must be the kids that I'm hearing. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use a bad word. Those heifers that has been fighting you, your seed is choking it right now, today, in the name of Jesus. What do you do? What do you do? Commercial construction. Did I ask you? Event planning. Let me let me let me share something with you, right? I, I, I used to be an event planner, you know. Um um Lucinda, should I tell her? Yeah. Uh, manpower, woman thou loose, and I'm, I'm behind the scenes and those kind of things. Event planning over the next four years is going to be huge. Your seed is going to choke you a place in that area in the name of Jesus. I ain't actually what you did with it. The jobs report came out. Pastor, can I talk like this? I'm going to the word in a quick second, but I want to share something. The, the job report came out this week. They was expecting uh, that uh, they added on to the economy uh, 179,000 jobs. It turned out to be 300, and almost 400,000. It's been going, 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 going. The number one problem in the United States of America is trucking and logistics they don't have enough people so people are buying cargo trucks and you about to get paid <laughs> set your when you when 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 you sow when you sow a seed you have to place a demand on the seed that you sow you have to place a demand on the seed you sow the only thing hindering your pastor and pastors from going to the next level is the people who are in this room who don't have faith enough to release for the harvest. Where there's no seed in the ground, there can be no harvest. What do you do? What do you do? Oh, you mean this? Okay, uh-huh, yeah. I'm sorry? You... You, 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 uh, what do they call them? What do they call them now? A nail technician. <laughs> if we can snatch this business away from them, can you, can you imagine what would happen to us if we. If we just snatch the business away from them. If we can snatch beauty world away from them, we be. Y'all ain't getting it. Y'all ain't getting it. Logistics. Wow. So you hear this word today, right? What do you do? 
commercial home inspections. Are we getting ready to sow? Let's prepare yourself. Now, the minute the Lord speaks to you about a seed or touches your heart to sow the seed, the minute he does that, it's no longer yours. The, the, the minute when you feel, uh, you feel it, he's saying that's mine, it's not yours. When you don't release it, then you put it into a bag with a hole in it because you're not going to enjoy it. And he will make something happen so that you do not get what he was trying to get from you so he can get something to you. That's the 10. That's the 10. The seed that you're sowing is not only for your business, but it's going to cover everyone who is around you. I promise you. I want to do this quickly. The pastors did not ask me to do this. We had no discussion about money. I'm not coming here playing any games with you. When she was singing, I hear you. I started hearing God. That's the 10. Get ready to sow. Come in closer. All right. Then I said I'm going to talk to two groups. 10 and what? 10 and 50, which will bring us to the number of what? So 60 people are going to open up the heavens for us on today in the name of Jesus. Okay. With those heads bowed, those eyes closed. There are 50 people in this room this morning. You're holding an uncommon seed of $223. Get it and start walking to the altar right now. That's what you're holding. That's what you're holding. The reason why some of us have to release is because money is the answer. The Bible says money answers what? All things. So if it's a thing, money can answer it. So what the enemy does, he combats, he fights you in the area of it so that you don't have the answer to the one thing that you've been praying for. But turn to your neighbor and say, my money worries are over. I need you to move as quickly as you possibly can. You need to say to your neighbor, excuse me, I'm going up there to bless myself. And if they owe you $23, say, I need my 23 right now because I got to put this to this. 50 persons, come move quickly, 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 move quickly. Come with intent. Come with intent, come with a mindset, and come with intent to release in the name of Jesus. With a mindset to release in the name of Jesus, 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 to release in the name of Jesus. I'm waiting on you to release in the name, to release in the name of Jesus, to release in the name of Jesus, to release in the name of Jesus. To to release. I'm waiting on you. Somebody clap those hands. You know, some people is afraid to even say amen because, you know, God's speaking to them, you know. To release in the name of Jesus. We will not, we will not do what you do in a restaurant. You know, you, you know what tips are, right? What's a tip? Huh? Well, tips is, comes from, tips comes from Europe. It's in America, you sit down, you eat, the waiter waits on you, and when they get finished, you give them a tip. In Europe, you tip before you eat. The word tip is an acronym. It's to ensure proper services. That's what it means. What you're doing right now, you are ensuring a prophetic service in your life right now. Something is opening up and miracles are about to trans form in your life I hear you I hear you God I hear you I hear you I hear you some folks are sitting in their seat right now pastor and they saying boy I wish I had I wish I had stop wishing you have and snatch what you got and jump up and say I'm going to use what I got my gift will make room for me and I'm loosing something in the atmosphere right now in the name of Jesus. Look at you still sitting there, still sitting there. And whoever you are, whatever it is, snatch it and start moving. I got 100, I got 50, I got 60, I got 20. Snatch it. Miracle offering right now in the name of the heavens are opening up right now in the name of Jesus. 
Ain't no way in the world I would hear a word like that and sit in my seat. I'd find something. I'd pick somebody's pocket. Let's get ready in the name of Jesus. Ways to sow, ways to sow, ways to sow, ways to sow. No tricks, no gimmicks, no games. Nobody has to run and leave when the message is over. You got to walk. Nobody going to put their hand in your pocket. The devil is a liar. This house is too small for the weight that the anointing is carrying. We're shifting the atmosphere right now in the name of Jesus. All right, let's get ready to release. Let's get ready to release. If you're putting it on your credit cards, the folks are there for you. You're doing cash app. You're doing what? Let's do it in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you right now that every financial burden that tried to oppress the man and the woman of God, every bill has just been choked. In the name of Jesus. No more nickel and in diamond. These are not little boys and girls. This is the big league. And we release the kings in this kingdom to bring forth the wealth so that the prophets can proclaim your word. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. They're there with baskets. If you have foot, you can just drop it on the altar so make it quick, quickly. Drop it. If you got a seed, drop it. If you did your cash app or your electronically, do it your way and you're going to your seat in the name of Jesus. Some folks would rather have houses and land. Old school, oh, some folks choose silver, yeah. You came from a Baptist church? Because I see your Baptist rock right there. Oh, these things they treasure and forget about their souls. I've decided. My chore. You know the road is rough and the going gets tough and the hills are hard to climb. I started out a long time ago. There is no
Can we give the Lord a praise? Father, bless the giver as well as the receiver. Multiply every gift. Give back onto them good measures, pressed down, shaking together, running over. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. When I'm leaving, I brought some of my um, literary works. Witchcraft in the pews. Living by the word. 